My first guest tonight is the most talented actor in the world. He will star in Red, opening at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles on August the 1st. Please welcome the splendid Alfred Molina, everybody. Alfred Molina. It's lovely to see you, Alfred. It's the great. greatest actor in the world. I know. I know. That's another. That's another fifty dollars well spent. I think. <laughs> hey, hey, happy birthday! It's your birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. It's, it's his yes. birthday. <laughs> happy birthday! Thank you. I would. I would sing happy birthday to you, but you can't sing that song. It's very expensive. Very expensive. Yeah, I, 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 I never realised that. I thought it was one of those things that you could just sing any. No, time. no. It's a very expensive song. If you, if we were to sing that. It would cost hundred thousand dollars. Oh well, I'll, I'll sing it quietly to myself. No, in my don't, because then no, because lawyers will watch the show and go, "There, that's where he sang it to himself <laughs> in his head." What if he just mouth it? No, don't can't mouth even do it. that. No, 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 we can't mouth it. Can't things. even go. Well, you could probably do that. You could. No, you have to make up a different one. You have to kind of do that one of those lame. I it's just your did it. Birthday, I just did it. <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> May, oh, I, may, I ask, may I ask? Is it is it a is it a big one or small? It's not. One? No, it's not a big one. It's not a big one. Right. Um, um, but um, it might be bigger a bit later on. <laughs> we still talking about your birthday? Or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Talking about you know the size of the event. It uh -huh. might get bigger later. I mean, at the moment, it's just two of us. Right. So it might. There may be more. You know. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you're enjoying your birthday, but I am. I am. <laughs> Sounds fantastic. Hey, no, uh, no. The, the, the play you're doing at the Mark Day Performance, it's about uh, Rothko. It's about it? Mark Rothko, the, yeah. the, the painter. Yeah, I didn't um, care for his painting. No, you didn't? No, no, you didn't. no Is that didn't. why you didn't come to see it when we did it no, on Broadway? No, I, no, that wasn't the reason. <laughs> I, I, I fell. But the... Uh, <laughs> No, I didn't care for Rothko's oh, opinion, right. which well, I, I'm alone and everybody else loves it. Well, I don't think that will spoil your enjoyment of the play, should you deign to come and no, see I, it. No, I'd love to come see it. I'll come, I'll come see it. Come see it. it. Uh, when, yeah. When's it on? We're up, we open August 1st at the Mark Taper Forum. Ah. Here in Los Angeles. Ah. The City of Angels. <laughs> I'm, I'm uh, out of town August 1st. Are you really? Yeah, yeah. How long are you running for? Uh, for as long as it takes for you to get back. <laughs> No, of course I'll come see it. Of course I'll come see it, but I am out of town August. I mean, have, you, have you ever been stuck in that situation where someone wants you to come and see what they're doing and you, and you, 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 keep, you start running out of excuses for not... You know, I wish I could be there, but, you know, my baby's not well. Well, we'll wait till... You, till, till well, yeah, we'll wait until your baby gets better. Oh, well, then, yeah, then I've got, um, you know, the, the house, getting the house fixed and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, you know. You know what I hate? When you do a show and then people come back afterwards and say... How did you enjoy it? <laughs> uh, then you go, oh, man. Are you a big fan of the uh, modern artist, the 20th century? What, is he a 20th century master? Yeah, 20, he, was a 20, he was a 20th century painter, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah I am. I mean, there's some things, yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much. I mean, I, I can't, I mean, I enjoy a lot of art, but I mean, it's, uh, there's some stuff that you kind of go, yeah. But well, he was one of the, he, Mark Rothko is one of the guys that people really did say, oh, my kid could do that. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I, it was, well yeah. I, I, I think with Rothko, he's one of the guys where you can say, my dog could do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's abstract. I don't know why I'm suddenly feeling really defensive yeah, about Yeah, no, no, Rothko. it's all right. I, no, it, he's a controversial figure in He was a controversial yeah, figure, I mean, yeah, he, I was. I mean the, he was. Uh, when Dennis Hopper, God rest him, was here, he, and I told him I didn't like Rothko, and he owned a Rothko, I think, and he, and he said, I, I, I understand, but he's very important. Well, he was. Yes, yeah. he was important. But you're right. The, I mean, he, he's one of those. He's one of those artists that people are never kind of you know on the fence about him. Right. He, he, people either love him or really, really find him like a complete. F I mean, uh, we we had uh, we had people coming backstage when we were doing it in New York, where people would say things like, "Good play," but the guy was a fraud, <laughs> a total fraud. And they would be no, angry, you know, well, and you angry say, well, about well, it. I, I was acting, it's not fraudulent. Well, well, I was actually <laughs> pretending to be. <laughs> exactly, yeah. No, talking about, they were talking about his act. Oh, his I art. see, they weren't talking about yeah, you saying, being saying, a fraud, you're no, not no, actually no, no, Mark no, Rothko. No. Yeah. Saying, so, you know, they, they enjoyed the play, but they thought the art was, right. was just completely fraudulent. Well, what kind of art do you like? Do you like uh, 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 landscapes? Do you like nudes? Come on, everybody yeah, likes everyone a nude. likes a nude. Yeah. Well, what's not to like? Yes, I like nudes. I like a nude on a landscape. That's what I like. Nude on a landscape. With a couple of Fluffy bunnies oh, on one yeah. side there. 
Fluffy know, bunnies. And fluffy then something bunnies. gambling across the yeah, field. Like, like a waggy taily dog. Ooh, a waggy taily dog. Yeah. You know, something like Spendin'. that. You know. Yeah, waggy taily dog, naked lady. Fluffy bunnies up here. Or gentlemen. Or, it doesn't matter. Do, uh, doesn't matter. It, well, it depends what you're doing. Equal opportunity nudes <laughs> yeah. all across the landscape. Yeah, uh, I like a bit of nudity. Yeah. 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 But not as much as you would think. You know when people say... <laughs> I've... You know, for a split second there, I thought this was going to be, like, a serious conversation. Yeah, well, it is. <laughs> it is in a way, because, you know, like, nudity, I think, is it's better if you kind of just, like, you know, leave a bit... Not to the... To the imagination. Well, not so much to the imagination. It's more kind of leave the... To the sensor. <laughs> no. Like, if you're... Na like, if I'm naked, there's parts of me that look all right and other parts of me that don't look so great. We'll so be it, the judge of that. Well, no, I, <laughs> All I'm saying is, if I kind of drape things over certain areas and, oh, then, yeah. you know, and leave, you know, the fog clears around Penis Island, then I think that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, you could be, yeah, yeah, yeah. T tasteful nudity. Tasteful yeah, nudity. Something yeah. great, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to a strip club? I have, yes. Did you perform? No, I didn't perform. Oh. I got, I got. <laughs> no, I, 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 I was, I was stopped. Luckily, I almost did. I wanted. No, I, I did go to a strip club once when I was, I was in my late teens. Oh. And it was, uh, it was that, and it was a terribly kind of risque, dangerous thing to do. And you got to remember, strip clubs in London. Yeah, yeah. Aren't like. I'm taking my cardigan uh, off yeah. now. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, hold me pint. Yeah, yeah, hold me. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just put me pint down. All right. <laughs> it was not the kind of showgirl Las Vegas type thing at all. No, it was, no. It was, no. it was really unbelievably sleazy. And yeah. I, and I. And I, and, I remember, and I remember kind of getting outrageously sort of overpriced drinks and... In Soho, oh, in London, oh, they used to, that, that's where it was, first, in Soho. Yeah, the first time I ever went to London from Scotland, I thought, ooh, I'll go into a strip club and see a naked lady. And I went in, and this guy came over and he went, oh, yeah, you buying a girl a drink? And I went, uh, yeah, OK. Uh, he said, she wants a bottle of champagne. <laughs> I went, all right. And he said... That's 200 quid. <laughs> I went, I've only got 50 quid. He went, that's 50 quid. Get out. <laughs> I never even saw a naked lady. Oh, didn't meet the girl. I don't think there was any girls there. It was just that guy. <laughs> they were total, total rip-off joints. They're terrible, terrible. It's not like that now, though, of course. No, now it's kind of, you know, three, three, you know, three course dinners and yeah. uh, well, you ballet can't, parking. You can't eat at a strip club. Well, you can. No, 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 it because that means you've given up on both food and sex. <laughs> 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 You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. right. Have you tried the shrimp? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Anyway, you know, I, I couldn't go now. But are there, are there old fashioned strip clubs like they used to be? I mean, I mean it's, all like, it's all like lap dancing and poles and stuff now. Well, well I, I mean, I'm sure you can still go to places where people take their clothes off or. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do it if you give me a couple of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you... I'll buy you a very expensive bottle of yeah, champagne. I, I would like a bottle of champagne. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we have to uh, take a break. Do we? We don't have to, but it's the whole capitalism, commercials. Uh, yeah, 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 I understand. Uh, you and I can continue to talk, but, you know, it, the, the network survives on these things. Absolutely. And yes. as you know, uh, CBS is uh, almost broke. <laughs> <laughs> They've got a lot of money. Yeah, they, they do. They, they don't leave it here, obviously. But they. Uh... Are you incredibly wealthy? Um, no, no. But I, I hope to be one day. Seems fair. I live in hope. Do you want to uh, do the commercial thing? Sure. What are we advertising? <laughs> or just announce the break? Yeah. Well, well, you could just say, uh, here's a bunch of excellent products. Here's a bunch of excellent products for your selection and consideration. I got my first day after the eleven, I was forty-eight. Oh, that doesn't Ain't nothing going on here. <laughs> That's a, a cross between the little rascals and a Jedi mind trick right there. <laughs> These are not the droids you are looking for. 
<laughs> you're a big Star Wars fan? I used to be. I enjoyed the first two. I know what you're and saying. I, I didn't sort of like keep up with it. I, 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 I kind of felt like I'd got too old for it somehow. I know. What I, you I, don't mean. Mean that, I don't mean that in a disparaging way, but I just sort of didn't quite have the same sense of... I mean, the first... I, mean, I remember the first Star Wars, what, 1977? Mm, something like that, you yeah. Know, and I, I, thought it was, I thought it was the greatest thing I'd ever seen. I mean, I Very good, just, like, yeah. It was, like, cutting edge. It was just... Brilliant. And then after that, then there was that huge long gap in between movies, and I sort of, like, ended up... Not, you, know. you went to a strip club in London. I went to strip clubs. Yeah. <laughs> and it scarred me for scarred life. Scarred you for life. You didn't want to do it anymore after that. You enjoy the science fiction, or do I you? I do. Yeah, a little bit of science. Yeah, I enjoy a little bit. Of, I like, I like the, all, this, all the doomy stuff. I like all, all those movies that always take place in New York. Yes. And it's always like the end of the world. I like the, you know? I like the steampunk that they're doing. You know the steampunk type? Uh, no, this is new to me. Well, steampunk. But I'm an old fart. So. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's this. I'm, I don't know if I'm quite getting it right, and I'm sure there's a steampunk. lot. Steampunk? Steampunk, yeah. It's kind of like... Um, it's an, is that edible? <laughs> yeah, it's steampunk. It's, so a, kind of, it's, it's a, a kind of fish, and you steam it, and uh, <laughs> tastes a little bit like it's chicken. A, it's just yeah. <laughs> First time I tried it was in a strip club, actually. Uh, <laughs> have you tried the steampunk? Yeah. <laughs> How much does it cost? <laughs> no, I, I do like now, that. What, what is steampunk? Uh, it's kind of, uh, it's a, an alternate reality. Uh, it's like if, if the world exists but flying had not been invented or something like that. Oh, I so see. It, yeah. it kind of goes in that direction. It's very, or if there's a giant robot but it's the time of the Wild West. I think that's the, the, the type Got of, the, I, I think, I, mean, I could be wrong. Got it, that sounds uh, good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah. I'd go and see one of those. Yeah. A bit like the uh, Sherlock Holmes movies, the new Sherlock Holmes. Mm, yes, the new Sherlock Holmes movies have a bit of the steampunk, yeah, I think, absolutely. about them. Yeah. That, uh, that Robert Downey Junior, he's good, isn't he? Clever chap. Yeah, very clever. Have you ever had him on your show? Oh, you he's, have, he's, you have, because he made that great crack about uh, about looking. He, he came on with a big moustache. Oh, he did. Uh, he yeah. said he looked like a, he looked like a, one of the Mario brothers. Right, yeah, he did as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You grow a moustache from time to time. I do. I'm growing one right now as right. we speak. Is it for a, it's, for a... It's for a roll. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's not coming through. And, and also, I'm totally grey now. My beard is totally grey. So when I, when I grow my beard, yeah. it really does look as if I'm dyeing my hair. <laughs> but your hair is not dyed. No, my hair isn't dyed. But, but, but like, your beard, that's yeah, weird. What about weird. downstairs? Uh, grey, uh, normal no, colour, no, or what? The, uh... <laughs> Blonde hair, black moustache, great brown bushy beard. Ginger yeah. down below. Yeah. Good Lord. I thought I was I, I, I thought I was going to take that secret to the grave, but no. uh... good lord! Well, you know that's uh, that's a, a, a nude that I'd quite like to see. Actually, <laughs> like... we're, we're, we're out of time here. Do you want a you want a mouth organ, an awkward pause, or a big cash prize? Well, the, this this is new. This is a new innovation. I'd like to try the big cash prize. Well, it's something we put in. I, th I think you'll enjoy it. It's uh... I've got a taxi waiting outside. I might need some cash. <laughs> a taxi in LA? Yeah. Expensive. Did you get a DUI? <laughs> no, but I caught something off the bag, so you Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, hey! Well, just take me car to get yes, off. All right. right. Fine. What time is it, Shadow <laughs> Demon? for the big cash <laughs> American dollars. 50 American dollars. In quarters, in a bag with a dollar sign in it, just like the burglars use. Here's how, how you can win. You can either uh, answer a question, or you can guess what's in my box. Uh, what, how that works is I imagine a box in my head, and uh, I don't know what's in it, only Jeff knows what's in it. And you try and guess what it is. If you're right, Jeff will tell us, and if you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. I mean, even worse than being on this show. <laughs> I'm going to try and guess what's in, in my, your box. In my box? No I'll join then, I'll just take my car to yeah. get off the... I'll be pine. Yeah, I'll be... <laughs> <laughs> All right then, uh, I'm imagining a box. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred, what is in my box? It's only an hour-long show. I right? know. <laughs> Something to do with an island. <laughs> Can he be more specific? <laughs> um, uh, begins with a P, maybe? A per, 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 per. Penis island? <laughs> Jeff, 
Is he correct? It is, in fact, a waggy taily dog on Penis Island. Oh!